Uh, top of the hour on MLB Central and MLB Network, and the last was a doozy. Just to catch you up, JP Morosi reporting that Juan Soto and Josh Bell are headed to the San Diego Padres. They are going out west. Jeff Passon with all the details. Look at these names Mackenzie Gore, Robert Hassel, CJ Abrams, Susana, one wow. more major league player. It is a haul. And the deed to the gas lamp. <laughs> and everything you want. And this from Joel Sherman. In case you were wondering if Eric Hosmer is included, it is believed to gain access to all of this minor league talent, arguably the most ever traded in one deal, the Nationals, on taking on Eric Hosmer. This from Don Heyman. Eric Hosmer is in the Soto deal, as Joel Sherman suggested. So much to unpack as we welcome you back inside. Wow, what a deadline day already. It is only noon. <laughs> we got six more hours <laughs> to go. Mark Feinstein of MLB.com. Hosmer is in the deal. Your reaction to that and the haul they got back. Will anybody be left by 6 p.m.? <laughs> the last hour of the deadline might be like, well, we're out of players. We said we wanted action. We got what we right. wanted. Right. Uh, not surprising that Hosmer is in the deal. The Padres is trying to dish off some salary, uh, you know, to get to get Soto and Bell and, and to give up all these prospects. And the Nationals, I mean, the payroll is not an issue for them going forward here. So they can take on that Hosmer deal. It's not going to impact them. Uh, but obviously they bring in some huge prospects, Gore, Abrams, Hassel, uh, you know, guys who they look at as being a part of the core of this rebuilding plan to get back to the top of the NL East. You know, it's interesting because you had a question that I, I was kind of thinking in my mind, but I didn't ask it to the Padres give up too much. And Eric Nays, our researcher, said, Lauren, he's a Hall of Fame player right now. Highest OPS. I think we have a board. Highest OPS plus through his age 23 season. These are just the reported details of the trade. The numbers, Padres. I mean, it's Albert. Case thinks they gave up too much. Well, he's 23 years no, old. No, I didn't say that. Yes, you did. <laughs> Look at this. Look at these names. Well. He's a once in a generational player at 23. Okay, and so also, that, that, let's throw in Josh Bell. Yeah, and Josh Bell too. Game changing bat. Yeah. Well, the Padres got a lot better. It'll be interesting to see. That's a that's a huge haul. That you're you're throwing your minor league system. You know, basically saying, here you go. We're all obviously chips are that's all the, in for the Padres. That's the amazing thing. Listen, you're getting a Hall of Fame type player at 23 years old for three postseason runs to yeah. pair with Manny Machado and Fernando Tatis Jr. It is the stuff of <laughs> legend. <laughs> it is. Okay, I, it really is. It's going to cost you. Uh, certainly, if I'm Mike Rizzo, the three years, 39 million on Eric Cosmer's deal. Come on, jump aboard. All right, because I'm getting. Potentially my shortstop at a future, my center fielder at a future, my right fielder at a future, a guy who could slot into my rotation towards the top of it with Mackenzie Gore and Susana. I mean, you hear, hear Dan talk about him. You can start to imagine this position player core with the Brady houses of the world that they're starting to draft, like in 2025, starting to understand. I mean, it's kind of what the Cubbies did, right? They draft all the position players and then and they, they go, go buy the pitching. Buy the right. pitching, yeah. Yeah. I wonder if the details are completely worked out. It's still 9 a.m. If you're Eric Hosmer, though, Coast. you're chapped. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm a Nationals fan. I've been watching the product. Just, it's tough to watch. Especially no, he'll go there and he'll well, be a pro. But, but you had Hosmer, you, well. you, you were the first guy. You were right? the guy. Padres, you were the you first big yeah. signing there. You bought into what they were selling. They went and got Machado. Tatis came up. They got Darvish. They got all these guys. And it was like, all right, this team is ready to go and ready to make something happen. And now they're getting Juan Soto and Josh Bell. Oh, wait, but you're part of the trade. Oh, but they have overlooked him before, and he has handled it like a pro. It was pro. last pro. trade deadline. He was going, what? You know what? Dan O'Dowd was just here, and he talked about A.J. Preller and how creative he is. When you think about where he stands right now, he's sitting in his office. What's he thinking, Mark? How about the fact that he was able to get Josh Hader yesterday, and it's like an <laughs> overlooked piece of this trade <laughs> deadline? Oh my gosh, when right? you just said that, it, we, it we forgot that they added Josh Hader yesterday. <laughs> Honestly. Uh, and they were able to add Josh Hader without giving up any of these top prospects that they were still going to try to use get to get Soto. Soto. So, yeah, they emptied out the farm system. But if this ends up with the first world championship in team it's history, it. it's totally worth it.